Hey, what's going on? So we're back and we are going to be unboxing the iPhone 16 Pro Max, which I have right here in my hand. It's always so exciting to have like the new iPhone, especially on launch day, because like it's it's the first opportunity to get the iPhone. It's just a good time. OK, anyways, this is the seventh year of us unboxing a Pro Max model on camera here on launch day. One year we slipped a little bit, but I cut my finger earlier. Paper cut. But yeah. Uh, let's get into it. Let's get uh, to unboxing this iPhone 16 Pro Max. Let's do it. All right, guys, now it's time for the moment of awesomeness. Here we have the iPhone box, just like every year. The box is a little bit thinner this year, not by much, and just a little bit taller. And let's get right into it. There it is. Look at that. Oh, this is always so much fun for me. I love seeing all the different ways the lighting reacts in here to it. Take it out. Wow. Here we go. Oh, wow. It does feel bigger. Interesting. The new. I don't even know what this is called. Isn't that horrible? I know what it does, but pretty cool. Looks like we got a little charging cord in here with it as well. This year and last year's iPhones have USB-C, which is really great. It allows you to do a lot more stuff. You know, going forward, it's going to be nice not having to deal with lightning. Well, no charger. Feels super thin. I guess we're going to have to compare it to my phone from last year. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Let's get it started. Powering up anyway. There's the Apple logo. We always love to see. All right. So there we go. Hello. Um, this is actually a case that I use it's made by the company Taurus. I bought this with my own money. This is what's called the rotatable ring. So anyway, it's also got the magnet in there and it will allow your phone to quickly charge at night on the charger. If you're interested in that case, I will have an Amazon affiliate link down in the description. It almost looks like it's like part of the phone or, or something, right? Put your phone in all these different orientations. And like, I really do use that uh, quite, quite a lot. We're, we're doing a backup restore right now from the iCloud. So one thing I like to do each year is just kind of give a side by side comparison. Uh, the phone on my right is the 16 Pro Max. This is the 15 Pro Max. So just trying to look for some differences. You have to be very careful when you do this because you can actually scratch the screen with the camera lenses because they actually are coated with like a sapphire crystal type of thing so but yeah look at that the uh can't really uh tell much difference actually the action button and the volume up and downs there's the power button in its normal spot and then we have the oh that's interesting it almost looks like it was there before this is the new camera button right here. So this thing was getting a little bit warm from all the backups it was doing and, and everything. But now it seems like it's it's all right. So hopefully it doesn't affect any of these tests, but uh, it's like golden hour here. So this is just recording on the front facing here. And uh, I figure we do a couple camera tests. Got my wireless uh, Rode mic on and I've got it patched in through the USB-C. Pretty cool little rig. I was getting a message about my Apple Watch. So I'm doing a lot of stuff here. It's going on at the same time. So it could be affecting everything. Okay, so I'm gonna try to hold this kind of steady here. It, we're getting a little bit into the into the low light here. But this is uh, this is where I live. It's my, uh, it's my camping area up here. Uh, this is where we, we camp in the summer. This is our backyard, right? Okay, so, but anyways, you can realize that it's already fall here. We, we're getting an early fall this year on account of the drought. There's a drought. And uh, yeah, we don't usually get fall this early, but it happened. So yeah, you can check that out. Like, uh, there we go. We got, that's the, see, that looks very gold to me. I think it looks all right. We're, I'm basically just recording at 4K 24. So this is uh, 4K, 24 frames per second, but in ProRes. So I'll have to see in post whether or not. There's our tent. The, our tent's been up all year. We only slept in it one time this summer, and I feel so bad about that. 
and it's already getting like dirty up top and everything. But yeah, what do you guys think of this? Is this a good, <laughs> sorry this isn't better footage, but like it's getting dark and I don't really have time. So this is the 2X. And then if we zoom all the way into five, over there's my one wheel. Look at that, it's kind of cool. So yeah, this here is the cinematic and you can see it's got a 1X and, oh, that's, a, that's like further out. Nice, look at that, a wide angle cinematic view at 4K. There's an adjustable f-stop over here. Looks like we can go all the way. I think that is the lowest setting is to um, all the way to like f-16, which you'll notice the backgrounds are more in focus now. And down here we have blurry backgrounds. Those can be changed later as well, which is nice. We did not have this in uh, previous. Uh, we didn't have this resolution. We can only do 1080p and that was because the uh, close-up camera, I don't think it had the resolution or something. But yeah, check that out. Pretty cool, huh? You know, I don't really do this enough on my phones to, to really know if it's good or not. And like, we're at that point in the evolution of camera technology where like, how much better can it really get in order to add value to your video, right? So that's the other thing is like, you know, there's small sensors, so I guess there's always room for improvement, but especially on like the dynamic range and everything. Anyways, stay tuned for the more comprehensive review, which I'm gonna be doing in a subsequent video. We're back on the one wheel and we're gonna go into the woods here or the forest, some would say. And we'll see how this, this is the ultra wide guys see how this does in the in the low light here I wish there was an ultra wide on the front facing, you know, like when do we get that? Do Android phones have this? I just would like to know. Um, and is it good? Is it a good quality camera? Okay, so this is the front facing cinematic mode. <laughs> cranked up the F2. All right, well, that's gonna be it for this one. So uh, let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about it. Um, I didn't really get a chance to play with the camera control. It's like a button that will take you directly into the camera and then you can zoom with it by rubbing your finger back and forth. That's essentially what I'm gonna learn next. Be sure to subscribe, hit the alert bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.